Pasadena, California, the 74th college football game matching the University of Southern California Trojans and the UCLA Bruins. And there's nothing ordinary about this one. The Trojans have been ranked number one in the polls all season long, need just one more win to head to the BCS championship game. The Rose Bowl since 1981 has been UCLA's home field. And the Bruins, who are six and four this season, have won seven of the past 11 games against USC on this field. And hello again, everybody. Welcome to one of those big old Saturday afternoons in Pasadena. We've got scudding clouds over the San Gabriels. We have the threat of rain, Dan Fouts. We also have a football game that uh, offers an opportunity for USC with just one more win. And the pressure that goes with that type of game. Well, well, so what's new for SC? They've handled the pressure all year long as the number one team in the country. And the big reason is quarterback Matt Leinart. His grasp of this offense and his ability to consistently come up with the big play is the reason why the Trojans are on top. And Keith, no player is hotter in college football than quarterback Matt Liner. The Bruins, on the other hand, bring a lot of offensive tools into this ball game, and they can just let it all go today. They can have a hoot, as we said. Well, they're rested and they're as healthy as they've been all season long. They've had three weeks off to prepare for the Trojans. That's plenty of time to design some plays that could lead to an upset. And UCLA has some weapons. In the play of the game against Oregon, wide receiver Junior Taylor raced 83 yards with this pass from Drew Olson. And the true freshman Chris Marquis turned in the performance of the game as he totaled 238 yards in rushing, in receiving, and in returning. How about the influence of one Reggie Bush, though, when he's on the field? Keith, every week we talk to opposing coaches about the Trojans, and what do they talk about? Number one is how do we stop Reggie Bush? Do we spy on him? Do we double team him? Do we run the zone? All good concepts, but sooner or later, Reggie Bush is going to get you. They call him Lightning, and like Lightning, when he strikes, he changes things. Reggie Bush continues to make game altering plays like this 69 yarder against the Irish last week. Bush has scored 13 times this season, and you just never know when or where he will strike. The Trojans coming off a tough win over Notre Dame last week. UCLA has had three weeks of rest. We'll see how it all goes right after we take this timeout. Well, the day dawned pristine and clear, but scudding clouds, as we said, have come in off the ocean, and there is the portent of rain before morning. UCLA won the toss, deferred. Southern California will have the ball first as we get ready to kick off. It'll be Reggie Bush and Desmond Reed waiting for the kickoff from Justin Medlock. Bush is number five, and Reed is number 22. 59 degrees that's a little unusual this time of the year here at the Rose Bowl but it's dry and the temperature actually is about perfect as Justin Medlock hits it up in the air he does not want Bush to have it but he's going to get it anyway from that short field position and the Bruins are all over him as he gets to the 30 and falls ahead to about the 33 the quarterback for the UCLA Bruins and for the Southern California Trojans know each other well. Their profiles, here's Matt Leinertz, and his numbers are just stunning. I mean, look at that, 28 touchdowns and only five interceptions, compiling a record of 23 and one as a starter. Quite remarkable for Matt. Drew Olson, on the other hand, studies Leinert, and I'm, uh, every chance he gets, because uh, he's putting up a performance this year for the world to see. That's about as good as a quarterback could do. And now here's your first play of the ball game as the Trojans come out with a bunch on the left. Got trips down here at the bottom of the picture. And it's thrown quickly over here to Steve Smith. And Steve Smith has defended very well. He got one yard as Norm Chow opens the game with a trick play and Trey Brown spoils it. Now let's take a look at the FedEx starting lineup. 
the backs and receivers for Southern California. The big guy is Lindale White. Reggie Bush, of course, is Mr. Do Everything. The tight end, Alex Holmes, has been very good. The offensive line, this is a very strong group. They had to rebuild and find the place for everybody to play, but they all fit now and have done a fine job. Leinert gives the ball to Bush. He bounces in there for daylight, and he's got a first down. He breaks loose. It's a foot race down the sidelines. Bush is down to the five and scores as he somersaults into the end zone. Fred Matua is the man that let him in there. Incredible start for Reggie Bush and the Trojans. We talked about him being lightning. Well, you will never see a better run than this one right here. Bush hitting off the left side on the draw play. Right in the middle of the UCLA defense. Three tackles missed there. Watch this cut right here on Matt Clark at the 10-yard line. And what an exclamation point with the somersault. Give Benny Manuel credit, too. He threw the first key block to spring him inside the 20, and in he went. 65 yards. Hello, everybody. Meet Mr. Bush. Now the point from Ryan Colleen. Tom Malone, the punter, holds it. The kick is good. So we've only used uh, 58 seconds. And it's 7 to nothing Southern California because of this. Well, he's just got all the moves and all the speed you could ever want. But how about the desire to get make that cut right there and a little uh, flash of showmanship and why not? What a way to start for the Trojans. I'm sure that Pete Carroll will grab him on the sidelines and say, hey, Reggie, no more somersaults, please. A lot of things can happen to you when you're somersaulting. So much for slow starts. Uh, everybody has talked about SC complaining how they start slow in the first quarter of a lot of games. Colleen will kick it off. It is Tab Perry and Chris Marquis waiting for UCLA. There is more wind than normal here at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. And the ball will ride the wind some as it goes from right to left. It's Marquis from the five yard line. He's a burner. He comes outside, breaks outside. He's got some daylight. And the Trojans don't run him down until he reaches the USC 43 yard line. Eric White finally tracked him down. So the Bruins come out with a 50 yard return themselves. Andrew Olson. A little play action clears it up for a little short pass ahead to Mercedes Lewis the tight end and Mercedes will get to the line of scrimmage where Matt Gurdegood will lock his legs the Trojan linebacker here the story now the profile on the Bruin quarterback Drew Olson big guy 220 pounds 18 touchdowns but he's thrown 11 picks and that is the fundamental difference perhaps but it was in the process of learning the West Coast offense that Carl Durrell and his people put in. Ball is given away to the fullback, the up man, Michael Petrie, and uh, Lofa Tutupu brings him down at the 40. The FedEx starting lineup now for the UCLA Bruins. Marquis starts at the tailback among the backs and receivers with Manuel White in the backfield. Lewis is the big tight end. Bragg is back healthy now, and Taylor is a burner. The offensive front for UCLA, this has been a strength of the ball club. These guys have really had a good year. It is third down and six. Drew Olson lets it go, and down the sidelines, it is incomplete. Caught but out of bounds with Junior Taylor running under the ball. Eric Wright defending. Real tight coverage by Eric Wright, but I think this ball got a little bit out of spiral on Drew Olson. The wind caught it, throwing it into the wind. You can see the ball was not a tight spiral, and it did drift just to the out of bounds line where Taylor made the catch. So the Bruins will be turned away, and in comes Chris Clue to do the punting. He's having a good year, averaging just over 43 yards on 48 punts. He's put 18 inside the opponent's 20. 
Pooches this one up into the air. And it's going to hit on the five. Bruins have a chance to kill it deep, and they do at about the two yard line. So the USC Trojans leading in the ball game seven to nothing will get the ball back just beyond their two yard marker. Second possession for the Southern California Trojans. The punt by Cluway killed on the two yard line. And they line up with Lindale White in the backfield. The deep back number 21. He's the big guy comes out of Colorado and he spins at the line of scrimmage and gets out close to the four. Justin London is the first man on the tackle number 40. The UCLA defensive front. Morgan Brown, Nasulu Harwell, they are beleaguered to say the least. They've had a tough year. So many injuries. The linebackers are very good, all three of those. And Havener is the leading tackler in the Pac-10 with 119 coming to the ballpark. The defensive secondary, they'll be outsized a little bit at the corners, but they're tough guys and they play hard. Alex Holmes, the tight end, they got a double tight end alignment. Liner's pass is away. The pass is completed. I don't know how in the world he did it, but he did it. And that's all that matters. And it's first down out at the 16 to Dwayne Jarrett. Well, he did it because he anticipated the cut of Dwayne Jarrett. He's under a lot of pressure here on the sprint out, throwing to the right side of the field through that ball real early. Because when Jarrett turns around, that ball is more than halfway there and to the perfect spot high into the outside. So they've got some daylight behind them now. Ball is handed back inside to Lindell White. Turned it back after the first man missed him and picks up another USC first down as he comes to the 39 yard line. He broke the tackle ran through the arms of Justin London. Well, we've seen lightning. This is thunder. At 235 pounds, bouncing off tacklers, making it very difficult for the smaller secondary men to bring them down. Lee Webb comes off at fullback. Kirkman goes back in. Both these fullbacks can catch the ball well, particularly Kirkman. First down from the 39 for the Trojans. Leinert still got it. Has time to go shopping. Pass is completed to Dwayne Jarrett, who's just turned 19 years of age. And uh, he's put it at midfield. First down, USC. And Leinert puts the ball up high in the air again to Dwayne Jarrett. Reading the defense and then finding Jarrett crossing against Matt Clark, who's five foot nine. So Clark with good coverage, but not up there. Six foot five, Dwayne Jarrett, a true freshman, with another catch. Shades of Mike Williams. Absolutely. Bad shades for Clark. <laughs> Look at the blocking on the left side of that line. That's right on another first down. It's at least nine yards on the carry by Lindale White. If he gets 90 yards today now he goes to a thousand and he'll be the first since Sultan McCullough to gain a thousand yards at running back for USC. Right in front of uh, Matt Leinart of course is the center Ryan Khalil. Check out his block as he skates down the line of scrimmage. Jeff Byers with a key block there. With that offensive line remember this drive started on their own two yard line and they have not had a negative play yet. It's second down 11 now. White deep. Junior Taylor. And uh, Jarrett, Dwayne Jarrett were the wides. Jarrett is the man who caught the ball and uh, great confidence in him now because he has really come along. Now Leinert is six for six and Jarrett has caught four of those six passes. So Leinert uh, getting those easy completions, throwing on time with anticipation and finding Jarrett, that was a solid tackle by Trey Brown, or Jarrett has a big game. Smith will be at the top of your screen now. Bush is in on the field, and Leinert looking, wanted to go deep. He just didn't find enough room to 
He didn't want to take the chance on the deep ball and he goes underneath to Smith London defending on the play. Well, Larry Kerr defensive coordinator said we can't afford to play very much man to man against the Trojans because of their weapons. So the zone will be featured today and that's why Leonard could not go deep as he's talking to Jason Mitchell coming off the field. Also why Steve Smith worked his way back for that completion but short of the first down. Jason was open that's why he's talking <laughs> lobbying. Here comes your field goal try now for Ryan Killeen. It's 37 yards. A lot of leg. And it's good. Just inside the upright. And it's a 10 nothing lead now for USC with six minutes and eight seconds to play in the first quarter. Southern California leading UCLA 10 to nothing here in the first quarter. We'll kick it off and deep people will be Pat Perry. And Chris Marquis. Marquis, the last time he had uh, the ball come to him, he took it back 50 yards, and the Bruins didn't do anything with it. Now they had three plays, and then they had to punt the ball back to the Trojans, and the Trojans go and get a field goal out of it. Well, this one goes to Marquis again. Got a little crack. And he'll come across the 25 out near the 27. Chris Marquis is the beat back. He gets the ball. He goes over the left side and uh, picks up three yards the hard way. Jason Leach put a considerable fingerprint on him. And we get a little bit of uh, temper trouble down there in the middle of the melee, but they get everybody separated. No further damage. The defensive front for uh, USC. Uh, those two guys there in the middle, Patterson and Cody, have just been terrific their entire time. Linebackers, Lofa Tutupu in the middle. Grudy Good is one of the finalists for the Butkus. Dallas Sarch is a youngster coming along. The secondary, there's some big guys in that secondary, Darnell Bing in particular. And uh, penalty flag goes in as the Bruins again try to run the ball with Manny White. And uh, he'll get one yard, but let's see about the flag. It looked like the umpire might have been the man that threw it. So the Bruins uh, shoot themselves in the foot again on second down. They're caught holding. Holding. Offense number 73. That's a 10 yard penalty. Still second down. Ed Blanton, number 73, was the big guy apparently that was uh, double teamed and he was trying to squeeze some room and uh, got called for a hook. Yeah, he uh, it's one of those takedown pin moves and he got the flag. But the ball comes back to the 20 yard line. Drew is in the lineup now. Maurice Drew with a sore ankle, about 85%, he says. And he tries to bounce outside and he can't get it going as Mike Patterson has the penetration. And Big Mike slams him down at the 15 yard line. Yeah, Mike Patterson is just so quick off the ball. Plays as close to the ball as he can get right here. Watch the penetration, as you said, Keith. The missed block there and then the speed to run down Maurice Drew. A mere 290 on a six foot frame. And one of the reasons why Lofa Tatupu leads the team in tackles, Mike Patterson occupies a lot of blockers, but he also makes a lot of tackles himself. Third down and 22. Drew Olson has the ball slapped down at the line of scrimmage by Sean Cody, the other defensive tackle. Well, this is not going to work for Drew Olson and the Bruins if they're going to compete in this game. They've had six plays on offense. This will be their second punt of the first quarter. SC dominating both sides of this ball. And you got old Lightning waiting back at the 40 yard line for the Trojans as Kluwe stands a yard from his goal line. And Bush is waiting. Take it. Run it. Get a first down. They snapped it to the man up close. And one of the protectors, Wesley Walker. And uh, Wesley Walker. Picks up the first down on the trick play. And even if it doesn't pick up the first down, it's probably better than punting it to Reggie Bush. <laughs> <laughs> We've played a quarter here at the Rose Bowl. It's 10 0. Southern California leading UCLA. ABC Sports presentation of college football. Back after this message and a word from our ABC station. It's a 10 nothing ball game. Southern California over UCLA. Reggie Bush 65 yard touchdown run. Ryan Colleen 37 yard field goal. UCLA possesses the ball. First down from their own 29 yard line. And they have not had much 
room to run so far today. That's a gain of about four yards for Manny White. Take a look at that fake punt by UCLA. The key block is here by Riley Jondal. He's 195 pounds and he's blocking on Dallas Sarts right there. Spencer Havener leads the block on Jason Leach and UCLA picks up their first first down of the game on a fake punt. Ball resting at the 33 now where it is second down and six. Drew Olson has been hit very hard one time so far today for a loss. There's another loss as the ball is given to Manny White and Mike Patterson just went right down the line with him and took him down behind the line of scrimmage. This is a tackle for loss. It's an official statistic. Number 99 right here. This is Mike Patterson's 16th tackle for a loss this year. That's an incredible number for a defensive tackle. Well they're just not handling either one of those big tackles so far today. Patterson now is, is, is really he's getting away from uh, McCloskey that center and Vieira's on that side as well and he's just splitting them and getting after him. It is third down 11. Drew Olson throws he's hit as he throws the ball goes into the ground incomplete to Tupu the middle linebacker came in and popped him pretty good. Tab Perry was the intended receiver but never had a chance. No, it's a third down blitz. Watch the Tupu come around and he'll find an opening. Manny White has to decide on the linebacker to the outside Rivers and that leaves to Tupu to punish the quarterback. And it's fourth and 11 so in his clue away for his third punt of the day. And he will kick it this time and that's a beauty. Greg Carlson. Receives it back around the 23 and gets back to about the 27. So we're in the second quarter of play at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Trojans up 10 0. Well, we've had it cold around these parts the last few days. Been in the 20s at night, a lot of places. Keith, there are a lot of people watching this game this afternoon that don't think that that's very cold. Well, <laughs> It's colder than normal. <laughs> Line it with time, gets it off. And didn't get it off very well because uh, he got some heat from the Sulu just as he released it and didn't have anything on it. This is something you don't see very often is Matt Leinert getting this pressure and then getting hit and knocked down. The Sulu right in the back there. Force that incompletion. Another big play for UCLA's defense. And that is the beleaguered uh, group, the defense for the Bruins. Craig Bragg will go back now as the deep receiver with Tom Malone doing the punting for USC. Kicks away, and that's a beauty. Oh, my goodness, let it go. He takes it back at the five, got away with it. Oh, I'll say he got away with it. It's now a foot raise. If he beats Malone, he's gone. 96 yard touchdown return by Craig Bragg. No flags. Well, Tom Malone out kicked his coverage. It was a beautiful, high, long punt of 57 yards, but a 96 yard return by Bragg. Gets away from the gunners and now he's got a full head of steam right up the middle. And this is no contest when he gets to the putter Malone. Just what the Bruins needed. Justin Medlock on the field now for the point. Points are precious. Good. The longest return prior to that was 94 by Kermit Alexander in 1961 against Stanford. Bragg just went 96. Well, the Bruins are jacked. That's the first touchdown return against Southern California this season. Medlock will kick it off. Reggie Bush and Desmond Reed will wait for it. There's the young man from San Jose who certainly knows the way after a 96 yard punt return for a touchdown. This is Reggie Bush. And he's across the 30 and out to the 33. 
Back to the field we go. Reggie Bush empties the backfield as he comes out here as a wide receiver, gets the ball, has a couple of people in front of him, tries to split them and does, and gets it up to the 35. A pickup on the play of about 13 yards, and that's the first down at the 35-yard line. Yeah, we got a flag, though, Keith. This one may be coming back. Clipping offense, number 53. That's a 15-yard penalty. We need to get that block Still out of the down. game. It, 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 it happens uh, by accident a lot. And uh, it's, it's a very dangerous thing uh, when it does happen. I think Jeff Byers might have been the one who uh, did it. It moves the ball now back to the 19 yard line. Where it'll be first down and 13. Let's see how much this has impacted the momentum of the ball game. This is uh, Reggie Bush. And Bush is gone. Forget it. No flags. Touchdown. 81. He may be running his way all the way to a Heisman Trophy with this performance. Incredible run. Breaking the tackle of middle linebacker Justin London, faking Trey Brown out of his jock strap. And this is where you said forget it, Keith. Wow. Kick. Good. By Khalid. I've never seen a college football player like this. Two incredible plays here in the first half for Reggie Bush. Mr. Bush, sir. High hanging kickoff. Three yards deep in the end zone. Here comes Chris Marquis. And the freshman from Luling, Louisiana, goes down at the 24. I mean, so much for momentum for UCLA after the brag. Phenomenal punt return. 17 to 7 ball game with 5.57 to play in the first half of the Rose Bowl here in Pasadena. Maurice Drew comes in for his second appearance of the ball game for UCLA. Oh, that's a backward pass. Here comes Drew trying to get his wheels moving, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage maybe before Messrs. Cody and Patterson intercept him. Earlier, we asked you the AFLAC trivia question. When was the last time five Division I-A teams completed the regular season undefeated? Here's your answer. Alphabetically, Alabama, BYU, Florida State, McNeese State, and The Ohio State University. This season, they're also fine. Drew looking for daylight. Remember, he's got a sore ankle, and uh, he could not. Uh, it's Marquis, I'm sorry, not Drew. And he gets planted right about the time he wanted to make his cut. He looked up, and here was some great big people wearing white. And one of them was Sean Cody. We've talked a lot about Mike Patterson today. That was Cody's turn to get a tackle for a loss. UCLA's offense is, is totally out of sync. It's not hard to get out of sync when you've got Cody and Patterson they have in your face. Zero yards rushing and 11 yards passing. Third down and 14. The Trojan a defense trying to pin them. The pass is away, and that's going to get them a first down. And that's a very good effort by Tab Perry. Tab, Tab Perry, who was out a year. Came back and has fought his way back into a starting job. At wide receiver, senior out of Milpitas. Here he is right here. He's a big guy too. 215 pounds with good speed. Watch him use that speed to get away from Justin Wyatt there. Then the strength to push Eric right away for another 10 yards. And the first down at the 38 yard line. That 30 yard completion to Tab Perry has given the uh, Brewing some hope here as we close out this first half. Another big play. 
Joe Cowan has come in at a wide spot for the Bruins. Passes away. And caught by Craig Bragg. First down, Bruins. Trojan, 27-yard line. First catch of the afternoon, a 30-yarder to Craig Bragg. So Drew Olson finding his wide receivers. But this time, he gives his receiver a chance to make the catch. Slightly underthrown, but the veteran senior receiver Bragg saw it all the way. Makes the catch, secures the ball, and gets down inbounds. The defender was Justin Wyatt. What Dan was talking about a while ago. Hey, you know, not only this, Keith, but SC has six tackles for a loss out of uh, 14 running plays for UCLA. Yep. Almost half. The Bruins are hanging around, though, Dan. They're only down by 10. They get something out of this. Incomplete. Hmm. Justin Wyatt defending on Craig Bragg and Justin feeling that he maybe should have come away with that one. Uh, he couldn't get any closer to Craig Bragg than he was. The ball did not lead Bragg away from Wyatt thrown to Bragg's back shoulder. That's why Wyatt could get in there. Fortunate for the Bruins it wasn't picked off on that deflection. This is a 43 yard field goal try by Justin Medlock. Little better contact on this one and it's good and it's a seven point ball game Southern California 17 UCLA 10 with two minutes and 50 seconds to go to the break. All the coaches who have him on their schedule next year probably rattle the coffee cup a little when they put it down when they think about it. Because he is a handful. He's going to make you play defense with nine people. Really. Two of them are going to, two of yours are going to have to watch him. That bounces right to Desmond Reed. There's another fellow that can run that football. All the way back to the UCLA neighborhood of the 40 yard line. So both teams are getting big runs off kicks. You know, Trojan fans are going to compare Reggie Bush to this man right here, OJ Simpson, back in 1967, battling the great Gary Beeman, who won the Heisman Trophy that year. But this run of 64 yards for OJ provided the winning points. In that fourth quarter for USC as they beat the Bruins 21 20. Reggie Bush putting his special mark on this one so far in just the first half. Trojans, 40 yard line, Bruins side of the field. In the middle, pass caught by Steve Smith, who has just come off a broken leg, had a fracture, and played last week. For the first time in a long time in the Notre Dame game. Now you can always tell who the go to receiver is by where he catches the ball. Steve Smith catches most of his passes over the middle. I know Dwayne Jarrett has a lot more catches, but I doubt he would have had that many catches if Smith had been healthy the entire year. Lindale White, the deep back, the big man on the first down, and he's got some daylight in the middle. Goes down inside the 20 before Havener makes the tackle for UCLA. A moment with Todd Harris. Well, Keith, the Bruins certainly had plenty of time to prepare for this game, actually three weeks after the Oregon game. And Mike McBride, the head equipment manager, he put that time to good use. Now, this looks like a USC Trojan helmet, but if you look a little closer, it's actually a Bruin helmet that he painted. All the scout team players had USC helmets and jerseys, so the Bruins certainly are prepared for their opponent today. They're trailing right now by just seven. USC trying to stretch it out before the halftime break. Pass thrown to Reggie Bush. Ball comes out, but they're going to call it, call him out of bounds, and the play over. Wow, that's a touchdown for UCLA if the whistle doesn't blow. I think they said he, his forward progress was stopped. Then the ball came out, 
Havener picks this ball up. He'll score. But the whistle was blown, and it's SC ball. We have it. And we have a look at it. Oh, that's a bad call. That ball was coming loose before the official came in to say that he was his forward progress had been stopped. Good catch by Bush. Good tackle by Clark. But that's a fumble. That's a fumble. Not only a fumble, that's a Bruin touchdown to tie the game. Leiter is sacked by Matt Clark. Blitzing quarterback got the Trojan quarterback at the 25 yard line. And what that sack does, Keith, is it, it really pushes Colleen to his limit. He is not a good long kicker. His longest in his career is 48 yards, and this year just 42 yards. And this one will be 43. 15 seconds to go in the half. It looked pretty good. It's a 20 to 10 ball game. The Trojans are standing aside for the moment and letting uh, UCLA go on uh, to the clubhouse as they ran right in front of USC. They'll go to the other exit over there. And uh, now they're on their way to the clubhouse as well. Now here's Todd with Coach Pete Carroll. Well, Coach, you know when you get your crosstown rival with three weeks rest, they're going to give you a game like this. Yeah, they're doing a nice job, really doing a good job in the kicking game. God, obviously, that was the big plays that happened. But we got, we got to go back in there and get all jacked up and come back for a heck of a half. This is the last half of the whole season, Todd Mountain. We're fired up to go finish this thing off right. How about number five? Dan Fouts compares him to Gail Sayers. Not a bad comparison. That's, the, that's what I thought a long time ago. He looked most like him. And, uh, God, he's just lightning out here today. Good luck in a second. Thank you. Keith. Thank you, Todd. Now let's go to John Craig and Aaron at our studio in New York City. It has been the Reggie Bush story here this afternoon at the Rose Bowl with the sky, a little bit drama there with the sun and the clouds and the portent of rain and the high drama that perhaps lies waiting on the floor of the Rose Bowl. Do you think there's any lightning in those clouds, Keith? No, it's all down here That's on the field. Sure. And it's all in number five. What a performance uh, Bush put on in that first half. 153 yards rushing for Bush, the 65 yarder and that 81 yarder. You can see UCLA doing absolutely nothing with their ground game and not much more with their passing game, but it has been special teams that have kept the Bruins in the game. And they're just one play away from jumping right back into the ball game. So if, if the uh, immediate pressure goes on to the defense or USC to keep UCLA from getting something early. The kickoff by Colleen goes way back into the end zone to Chris Markey, and he'll have nothing to do with it, so it'll come out to the 20-yard line. One more point on Reggie Bush. He has 20, 222 all-purpose yards and two rushing touchdowns in the first half. That makes it third down and 16. Passes away, a lot of air under it to the sidelines, and it is an incomplete forward pass. It was thrown out of bounds, intended for Mercedes Lewis, defended by Darnell Bing. And almost caught by Pete Carroll. That's how far out of bounds this ball was thrown. Pete gave it a half-hearted effort, though, with one hand. So four bad plays in a row. Reggie Bush drops back, waiting for the punt of Chris Clue. Got a little room. Oh, look at that. He shook off that first collision. Bruins had enough follow up help. To bring him down. The first lick on him was pretty tough by Dennis Keyes, but Bush just bounced off of it. Yeah, it makes you swallow hard sometimes. Got a lot of blue sky hanging around us right now, and the old San Gabriels all of a sudden have opened up. Look at Dennis Keyes, number 11, really with a bead on Reggie Bush here. Bush is going to make a miss once, make a miss twice. 
on first down and ten. Awful Mitchell reaching for every inch in his frame and he made the catch. How about that Jason Mitchell. And it's big. Yeah he got that uh, touchdown pass against the Irish last week. Matt Leiner just lays it out there. So soft so accurate. What an effort. Good catch by Mitchell no bobble at all. All fingertips right there. Reggie Bush is the single back. Matt Liner throws it to him. He gets one block. He gets two blocks. Oh, uh, needs one more. Didn't quite get it. And he's a little bit short of his first down as Matt Clark made the tackle. Well, he better check all his parts, too, because that was a heck of a tackle by Matt Clark. First screen of the day for the Trojans trying to get Bush in space with blockers in front of him. It may be designed to the left side but he's going to take it wherever he feels it. Now watch him feel that tackle. Boy lucky he didn't blow out a knee with that hit by Matt Clark. And coming up two yards short of the first down brings Justin Medlock into the ball game a 34 yard field goal try. I'm sorry not Medlock Killeen and Killeen puts it up and through the upright. So Colleen on field goals today is 37, 42, and 34. So he's got nine points in his column. Thirteen point lead for the Southern California Trojans at 23 to 10. And after that 34 yard field goal, they will kick it away, and the people deep. They've had one big return by Marquis today of 50 yards in the first quarter. Didn't do anything with it. Tab Perry has also been relatively quiet today. He's had one good run. Yeah, they want uh, this man, Marquis, to get the ball. But uh, if he gives them a return, that offense has got to take over, something they didn't do in that first one. Galeen hits it very well, way back into the end zone. I don't think he'll come for that one. And they'll take it out of the 20. Brazil goes in motion for UCLA. They run it. Gain is about a yard. Matt Grutigood getting the tackle on Chris Marquis. Grutigood is such a bulldog, isn't he? Yep. Tough guy, second leading tackler for the Trojans. They will miss his leadership next year. They're going to take a few hits on this uh, great defense, especially in the middle with. Patterson and Cody and Grudegood all graduate. That's a good pass. Very well done by the UCLA quarterback Drew Olson. He had pressure coming at him and I mean he was uh, uh, Dallas starts was trying to kill him and he delivered the ball right on the numbers to Junior Taylor. Good sharp route by Taylor a lot of separation. As uh, Eric Wright in a zone with help from his middle linebacker coming over. But you're right, Keith. Sartz really had a bead on Drew Olsen. Totally ignored him and threw a great pass. First down, 32 yard line. That's Lewis in motion. And outside, ball is caught. Big play. Tab Perry. Perry still working on it. And finally caught from behind around the 29 yard line of USC. Kevin Arbet saved the touchdown for the Trojans. The Trojans were trying to bring that corner blitz. Eric Wright was on the blitz. He's going to leave his receiver, Tab Perry. Great read by Drew Olson and Perry. How about that stiff arm on Jason Leach? And then to pull away from Lofa to Tupu. You don't see Jason Leach. Get pushed away like that very often, if ever. A win here today, and it's. They can start packing for Florida. Oklahoma's playing Colorado. That's thrown down the middle and completed to Junior Taylor. And it's first down UCLA first and goal at the USC nine. See what I mean about getting the ball hitting the receivers hands this ball was thrown way behind Junior Taylor. But check out the strength he has in those gloved hands. Five step drop 
A little hitch there. What a catch by Taylor. Yeah, he let his whole body go around on it. And made the catch. So first and goal for the Bruins. Manny White touchdown. They're back in the game. Eighth touchdown of the year for Manny White. None bigger than that one to close the gap on the Trojans. He walked in easily. How many times do you see Manny White score a touchdown standing up? Extra points are very important. That one's good. So it's a six point ball game. 23 17 USC. 135 to go in the third quarter. Six points. Bruins are hanging around. We got 16 minutes and 35 seconds of playing time left. Reggie Bush is back there with Desmond Reed. They're sort of lined up in tandem, but obviously they want Bush to have the ball if possible. But I don't know if Medlock's going to be willing to kick it for him. Uh, he's been practicing pooching and dribbling it. Here's the pooch. They'll get good field position out of it. It'll be up at the 30 yard line where Jason Leach calls a fair catch. And in case that surprises you, yes, you can fair catch your kickoff. White's the deep back. Leonard still got it. Sacked by Kevin Brown, his second of the day. Now he ran right over the top of young Jeff Byers to pick up that second sack. Watch him right here, overpower Byers, and he's right in the lap of Matt Leonard. And the quarter is over. And it's 23 17, Southern California. After three quarters, ABC Sports presentation of college football. Back after this message and the word from our ABC station. San Gabriel's mostly wrapped in sunshine now as the weather has gotten a little better. 23 17 lead, Southern California. Over UCLA, Reggie Bush is on this side as a wide out. The backfield is empty. It is second down. 18. Leinert's pass complete to Bush. And a lot of Bruins around him, but still he's down to the 32 before they get him on the ground. A little Arrested. delay route for Reggie Bush that time, but there's no delay once the ball's in his hands. How quick was he to get SC in a very desirable third and four? And Lindale White is back in. White gets the ball, stops, now starts, and is close to a first down. He stopped stone still for a millisecond and then went roaring off to the right to let that defender go by him, and it depends on the mark. And that defender's number 17, Justin Hickman. He's got him right there. Good job by Sam Baker staying with him. And I think White's going to come up just a little bit short. But not short on effort. Well, that looks me tells me he's going to go for it. <laughs> Too late to read his lips, but I don't think you really have to. They're going to give this ball to Lendell White, or perhaps if they're really, really gutty, they'll fake it to him and throw it up top. Well, they got both tight ends in the game now, Holmes and Bird. That further indicates run. Everybody comes back to the ball now, so they're going to run this ball. And uh, Lindell White has the first down without question as he pounds down to the 24. This might be your ball game here. If they can stick it in the end zone, that might. 
Might do it. The way the defense is played. But there are some performers on this field on both sides of the ball that can take your breath away. Bush is the deep back. He's got it coming this way. Runs out of bounds, saving his body at the 20. Picked up five. Benny Manuel was tracking him. It's got to be so frustrating for a defense. That ball was designed to be run between the tackles. Bush didn't like it and had so much speed. You get all the way to the outside. Run away from Walker, run away from Emmanuel, and save his body. All right, you have Webb going in with uh, Reggie Bush. Mitchell goes uh, in now, and uh, Webb comes out. That leaves Bush back as a single back. Cuts across the 20, and we'll have two yards on that carry. And Matt Clark, who might very well have been spying him on that play, made the tackle. By that I mean that uh, Reggie Bush was Matt Clark's sole target. Well, that or the quarterback, because Clark was coming on that corner blitz. We've seen a bunch of these today from both teams, but Clark, the senior corner, really made a fine play on that tackle. Ball is on the 19-yard line. It's third down and five. SC one of ten. That's incredible for SC. Ball thrown to the corner and it's beyond the field of play incomplete Steve Smith was had double coverage in the corner with Emmanuel and Trey Brown. And that'll get the kicker in the game Colleen. Okay, keep your eye on Spencer Hapner for the Bruins. He has a real knack for blocking field goals. He's got one this year when he leaped over the entire Illinois offensive line and a couple in his career. 20, it's 36 yards on this try. No pressure on it. And it's in the middle. And it is now a 26 to 17 ball game. Nine point lead for USC. Nine point lead, 26 17, with 12.05 to play in the game. Take a look at our Nissan Drive summary. Ryan Clean with four field goals on the day. Four for four. In fact, he's made his last six. Two against Notre Dame last weekend. He had a bit of a wobble about three weeks ago, but uh, straightened things up and hammers this one way back. That will not be returned. It'll be put down at the 20 yard line where UCLA will have it. Maurice Drew's in, but they're throwing as Olson is flushed, and now he is taken down. It's a sack on the 30, a loss of a yard. Sean Cody did it. But is Sean Cody hurt? Having a lot of trouble getting to his feet. He leads the uh, Trojans in sacks, number nine now for him. 84 working against Shannon Tavaga and Maurice Drew. In fact, Drew's block pushed Cody right to where Olson was going to run. Good reaction by Cody. I think Sean might have had his bell rung there. It's, just, uh, it's a pretty good pop by Maurice Drew, wasn't it? Yeah. Olson's pass thrown in the middle, and uh, that's that's what your grandpa would call a jawboner. He just <laughs> nose to nose. And Craig Bragg is stopped by Lofa Tatupu on the 30-yard line. He needs uh, two more for his first down. Sixth catch of the afternoon for Bragg. This is a tough one right over the middle. Side adjustment and troubles coming in the form of number 58. Good job hanging on to that pass by Bragg. I said third down and two. He needs 11. He's got to go to the pass the 41 for the first down. The original line of scrimmage was uh, near the 32. And Olsen with time on third down and long throws. I don't get the first down. 
So they'll be looking at fourth and about two. Junior Taylor could not break himself loose and pick up anything after contact. Well, we're seeing some great catches by these Bruin wide receivers. Bragg with a tough one over the middle moments ago and check out this grab as Junior Taylor twice today has shown off how much strength he has in his hands as he reaches way behind to make that catch. Punter is in Reggie Bush goes back for USC he's standing back at his 15 yard line. Chris Clue. Good kick. Fair catch at the 18. Eight minutes and 52 seconds to play in the ball game, and USC is sitting on a nine point lead. Lindale White is the deep back now. He's way back there. And gets no, he doesn't. Liner pulls it back and throws it. It's complete to Alex Holmes, the tight end. And Big Alex will go all the way to the 40 yard line for a first down. Here's Todd Harris. Well, Keith, don't be surprised if the Trojans go right after Spencer Havner. On that last field goal that they did convert, and Dan pointed out that he's a specialist at the blocking, he was not in there. Two plays before that, he had hyperextended his right knee. Now, they say he's going to be fine to finish the game, but he is a little gimpy and not quite as quick as normal. Keith. Okay. And you know, he also has a bad right hand in our meeting yesterday with the uh, Bruins. Did not shake our hands because he wanted to protect that right hand from your massive grip, Mr. Jackson. Yeah, right. <laughs> Has a little drop off pass to Bush. Reggie Bush. Oh, one man. And he gets ridden out of bounds and he throws him down. That might get a flag. Trey Brown took him out. When he gets the ball, just hold your breath and watch. No words really can describe what he can do. He has incredible vision to go along with all the natural running skills. You see that Trey Brown recognized they were out of bounds and he released it as soon as the Trojans have been ranked number one all season long. And this is Lindale White pounding his way. Picks up about three yards on that play. Ball came loose. Officials say he was down. And Carl Durrell is going absolutely crazy on the sidelines. He saw something that the officials obviously did not. Justin London with the hit there trying to rip that ball loose. Now he was going backwards forward progress was stopped. That is a correct call by the officials. But that doesn't make this man very happy. <laughs> Second down and seven. This is Bush. And he's on the line of scrimmage and that's all he gets. Boy Matt Liner should be telling Bush Lendell White and all his receivers yardage is not important right now ball security is. UCLA has all three of its times out left. The Trojans have spent one. David Kirkman just checked into the lineup. SC has converted just one of 12 tries on third down this afternoon. This is third and seven. Liner pass thrown to Bush. They got him short. He gets a couple of yards and that's all. That was an, again a very good defensive play by a Bruin. Spencer Hapner with another tackle Keith. Todd said he had a bad knee and we told him he got a bad hand. What a heck of a tackle by number 41. Look at the speed of Havner to chase down Bush. Now they're looking for the field goal. 34 yards. He's made one of those already today. This is his fifth if he can make it. And he did. Right down the middle. So it's been a huge day for Ryan Colleen with five field goals 37, 42, 34, 36, and 34.
29-17, USC. 88,442 at the Rose Bowl to watch this neighborhood scrap. Southern California, the top ranked team in the country, leading. Now that's a football stadium. Yep, it's a great place. Yeah, absolutely. Great place to see a game. Great place to work. Long high kick by Colleen, who has kicked five field goals. That'll come out to the 20 yard line, 29 to 17. A 12 point ball game. And we'll continue with the other ladies and gentlemen in a moment. Drew Olson back, throws, the ball is caught at the 29 yard line. And uh, Eric Wright throws Junior Taylor to the turf. And the Bruins are going no huddle now. Maurice Drew is back in the game. He's played very little today. That ball is thrown down the middle. That's a good pass and a good catch by Mercedes Lewis, and it's a big play. It's a gain to the 49 yard line for another first down. So just like that, bang, 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 the Bruins are in the middle of the field. Yeah, that offensive line doing a good job now, but there's no hesitation by Drew Olson getting back and letting it go. Good catch by Lewis. There is plenty of urgency right now. And he dodges that sack, almost lost his balance, now lets it go down the field. And it is in play. Did he catch that ball? Oh, I yes, don't believe he did. it. I think he Junior caught it one-handed. Taylor with an incredible reception down at the 12-yard line. Well, and, and Olsen gets away from the pressure and gives Junior Taylor a chance to make this catch. Here it is. Watch the right hand get underneath it and haul it in. Unbelievable. But how about this grab? Oh. Was able to get both hands under that ball as Darnell Bing went flying by. Well, he twisted himself, but he's walking off the field. Here's Todd. All right, Keith, I'm with one of the great all-time linebackers, Brian Bosworth, University of Oklahoma, the Butkus winner in 85 and 86. And, Brian, i got to ask you, the two linebackers you saw here today, Spencer Havner, who was a semifinalist, and Matt Grudiger, your thoughts on them? Well, I tell you, I'm not, uh, I haven't been really impressed with either one of them, only because there have been a lot of big plays. On Spencer's side, you give up two 80-yard-plus runs to Reggie Bush and Brandon, one of the greatest running backs in the game today. You can't, you got to be able to stop the guy like that if you're playing linebacker. And Matt's has done a good job today, but he hadn't had, you know, an opportunity to make any great, you know, big plays. But, uh, you know, obviously they're, they're doing a pretty good job. They've hit UCLA down to 17 points. Your thoughts on USC? Is that the best team in the country? Well, I don't think that's kind of an argument for everybody because I think Auburn has a stake in the same claim. So does Oklahoma. We're going to find out, you know, because uh, BCS can only take two of them. So it looks like UC, the USC is going to finish this game off. And I think Oklahoma, they had a hiccup last year, so they got to take care of business tonight. And it should be Oklahoma-USC, a fun matchup on the, in the Orange Bowl. Thank you, Brian. Keith, back up to you. Ball is on the 12-yard line where it is second down and 10. They've got the score here to have any hope. That ball is completed inside the five to Tab Perry. And Perry is close to a first down. It's at the three. Now they should uh, call for a measurement. Obviously, he's about a yard short. Yep. But UCLA is uh, taking too much time right now. They should have a play call. They're going to call timeout to make sure on this third and short. They'll have one, uh, two left after that. So they had all three. And I'm not sure the officials would have given him the timeout because they needed quite a bit. It's a 29-17 score, 12-point lead for Southern California, and the Bruins have come storming back, but they have got to get a touchdown here in this possession. And uh, the Bruins now come out of the huddle. They're looking at a must circumstance here, third down and a yard for the first down third down and three yards away from the goal line you got Manny White as the deep back he gets the ball he did not get the first down not even close good a good Patterson penetration again by Patterson Sarch was there as well Lofa Tatupu one more tackle Just shooting the gap and squaring up on the big tailback. Another timeout for UCLA.
Two minutes and 24 seconds to play. Orgeron with one of the great voices in college football. You don't think he is emotional in practice? He drinks a lot of hot tea. He doesn't talk when he goes home. <laughs> Ball is on the four yard line. It is fourth down. They need two yards or thereabouts for a first down. And obviously four yards for a touchdown. And here we go. Manny White should beat back. They're going to throw it into the corner. Touchdown. Mercedes Lewis played jump ball and made the catch in front of Justin Wyatt. Great call by Tom Cable giving the run look putting Lewis in motion and then taking advantage of the size advantage. But look at where Drew Olsen threw this ball. He under threw it to Mercedes Lewis and it was an easy catch against Justin Wyatt. The big body screens Wyatt from the ball. Medlock to kick the point. Good. That is only the second touchdown scored against the Trojans in the fourth quarter all season. Great throw by Drew Olson. Just let the big man make the play. He's 255 pounds. Justin Wyatt goes about 180. Just no contest when you throw the ball like that. 6-6 six, six doesn't hurt him either. Yep. <laughs> so now we have reduced this thing to a five point difference 29 24 with two minutes and 20 seconds UCLA is going to kick it to the USC Trojans all of the good hands people have come on the field now for USC and will line up for they truly genuinely expect that the uh, onside kick is coming well I do too Keith I mean the Bruins only have one timeout. I don't think they can afford to kick it deep to USC and let them get on offense. They must kick the onside, and of course, they must recover it. Will, remember now, you can fair catch, but not if they bounce it. It's got to be in the air. You figure they're going to bounce it. There it is. Caught by a Trojan. Caught by Matt Castle. The backup quarterback who went up in the air and Matt's a big guy. He's 6'5, 230 pound senior. But he went airborne and caught it right about the belly button. Has not played a whole lot at quarterback, was playing a little bit of tight end last year. This may be the best play of his college career. Getting up in the air, taking the hit, and giving SC the ball. And they possess it at the 44 yard line of. UCLA the Bruins have one timeout remaining. 220 to play. Reggie Bush is the deep back. Coming outside. Hook slides at the 15 yard line. How smart was that did not want to go out of bounds to stop the clock. Perhaps he could have cut across the middle and I think that most of the people here were hoping that he would because he might have scored using his head though. Unbelievable speed to get to the outside and then the smarts to just give himself up keep the clock rolling. And the Bruins not using their last time out for some reason. You've got to call a timeout here. Because if he ripped the ball loose, get a fumble, you won't have any time to, on offense. Bush now has 203 yards rushing, 334 yards all purpose. My goodness. He's got the ball again. He just sort of run in the stack. And now the Bruins are going to have to think about spending their last time out. They haven't yet. Nope. A minute and 36 to play. I, I cannot believe what they're waiting for. Their only hope is to cause a fumble. Minute 25. They got a timeout according to our stats. 
Now they've wasted a lot of time, a lot of time, almost 40 seconds. Bush in traffic, bangs his way on down close to the 12-yard line. Fumble, the ball was pulled out, and lo and behold, UCLA has possession. In the melee, somebody wrestled the ball away from Reggie Bush, and Spencer Havener comes out of the huddle with it, out of the stack, out right. of the pile. Justin London reacted as if he were the guy that pulled it loose. Havener obviously came away with it. I'm a little surprised that Bush Bush has a history of the ball getting away from him you know I mean that was one of the problems he had a year ago. That's a good call the ball was punched out by yes. London, London and there's Havener for the recovery. Now the Bruins have it with 53 seconds. Whoa, whoa don't they wish they had that 35 seconds back. That's intercepted by Jason Leach. And they throw him down at he around the 30. The ball came has got it. No, huh? USC's got it. Well, they reacted. Kevin Arbett got that fumble. <laughs> I don't believe the way this thing is ending. <laughs> oh, me. There's the interception. Jason Leach playing center field, Keith. All he wants to do is just run around. Yeah, I'm not sure. That is a fumble, too, and our bet smartly gets on that ball. Not sure what uh, Drew Olson was thinking. That was a weak safety way deep for the easy pick. 39 seconds to play. Knee. And Orange Bowl bound. And we got a little extracurricular stuff going on in the huddle here. And, uh, both teams start to wander on the field, and the officials try to jump all over that. We don't need that to finish it. It's been a good football game. It's 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 been a hard played, tough played, hard won and hard lost. It'd be a shame to mess it up now with some untoward activity at the end of it. 28 seconds to play. 29 24 Southern California. And Pete Carroll has gathered around the entire Trojan team, telling them to keep their poise. This ain't over. Play like champions. We cannot afford any penalties here, anything that can cost us a chance to go where they've been aiming at from the very start of the season is number one. Knee. And that'll do it. Today, Chevrolet players of the game Reggie Bush for Southern California, Craig Bragg, UCLA. Recognition of their efforts, Chevrolet making a $1,000 contribution to each University General Scholarship Fund. Your final score Southern California 29 and UCLA 24. And then I would say both teams pretty much left it on the field, didn't they? Well, that's what rivalry games are all about, and you got to really salute both these football teams. I know Todd Harris is happy talking to Pete Carroll right now. Todd, go ahead. All right, guys. Well, it is Bedlam down here in Los Angeles, but Pete Carroll has kept his composure. You told us earlier in the week, never count teams out, especially in rivalry games. Yeah, they, UCLA played a great football game, man. Our hats are off to them, and I know they wanted it so bad, and they did everything they could. It's a heck of a football game. It was hard. This last game is hard to get, now I promise you, but we're really thrilled to come here and get a win. I'm so proud that we were we're able to do this. It's been a long haul, but uh, we're really, really proud and happy about it. I know you don't like to look ahead, but you saw the fruit that was littering the field there. Are you packing your bags for Florida? I don't know. I don't know, Tom. I'm going to ask Nate when I get home. <laughs> I'll figure it out a little bit later. I don't have any idea. Just really proud that we got this done today. Let's talk about the performance of your players, especially Reggie Bush. You needed something big to get you guys going because people said you were a slow starting team. Not today. Now, Reggie just was just dynamite. He's just so so, so special and he showed everybody what he can do. He just thrills us every time he's out there. Our guys are chanting Reggie on the sideline when he's back there, you know. So we're really, really pleased. A lot of guys played good. And Matt Liner must have done a nice job today. 
Uh, it was a hard day, really, it was a, but it was a great win to get. Pete, congratulations. Enjoy the win. Thanks, Todd. Back at you. Back at you, Keith. All right, Todd, thanks very much. Keith Jackson, Dan Fouts up here in the booth. Todd down on the field. Now we are going to leave California for New York. Join John Saunders, Craig James, and Aaron Taylor. We hope you enjoyed what happened in the Rose Bowl today.